Okay, welcome to this Access Diagnostics product demonstration video where we are going to run you through uh, the differences and uh, pack uh, contents of three commercially available male fertility test kits. Now what you'll see displayed on the table in front of you is the three tests that we've been selling through our Access Diagnostics fertility site now and on our Value Med medical website for some uh, time. On the right is the uh, fertility score uh, the longest established and uh, the only test kit here that contains two complete tests and we'll run through that uh, and the uh, consequences of that um, in terms of the accuracy of the results for you in a little bit. In the middle is the most recent uh, entry into the market which is the all test uh, male fertility test kit and on the right is the one foe sperm concentration test which again has been on the market for around 18 months now. Now there are some uh, critical differences in these packs. As we mentioned earlier, the fertility score includes two test kits per pack. That retails at around 19.95 for the two tests. The all test one is a single test, just counting uh, sperm numbers. It's a cassette color test. Um, retails for around 675 to 695 and the one foe sperm concentration test again is a single test per pack it looks again purely at sperm uh, numbers or count and uh, both the one foe and the all test work to 15 million per mil for a positive sample anything above that will uh, give a positive test result below 15 million per mil they'll give a negative result the fertility score works at a slightly different level, the old WHO cutoff for male fertility, which is 20 million per mil. The big difference between these tests is that the fertility score, apart from having two tests, is the only one that will also determine the motility of the semen. So not only is it looking for pure numbers, but it's looking at the motility. Now motility is a critical element in terms of overall fertility. So a simple answer in terms of which of these packs gives you the best quality result, the most information, and potentially the best value for money, then it has to be fertility score every time because that's the only one which will test both the count and the motility in terms of giving a, a guide for the level of overall fertility. You have to have motility and good motility for those sperm to be of any use at all. The other advantage of the fertility score test, it has to be said, is by doing two tests on two samples with seven to ten days in between the sample collection, you have a higher level of confidence that if both results are positive, that motility and concentrations are maintained, and hence that the fertility isn't just being measured on a single point in time, but is sustained or continued, and again, a positive twin test with fertility score is in terms of home testing the best quality home test that you can do yourselves. Having said that, some drawbacks to the fertility score, it is the most complex procedurally to do. It does include having to get water baths at the correct temperature, collection of the sample and comparison against the colour chart as shown here which is quite complex in terms of the colour match. With contrast to that if you just want a simple positive or negative to 15 million per mil, then there's not a lot to choose between the all test and the one foe brand. The only difference really when you come to interpret your results is that the all test is a colour comparison uh, against a, a colour block that is given on the test cassette, and the one foe test is a positive or negative with the development of a test line against a control line. So it's the additional uh, results indicators, if you like, in terms of whether uh, something's positive or negative in terms of you know the traditional tests that you'll be familiar with like pregnancy tests or the drug tests that we sell. So I'm just going to quickly run you through these uh, contents of the packs. With a fertility score you get uh, two sample tubes, uh, a collection cup, two siphons, uh, the dye that goes into the samples, full instructions and the colour charts for interpreting your results. With the all test male fertility test kit you get a single uh, pot for collection your two dies and a test cassette with full instructions. And with the one foe, again, you get your uh, media for which you take from the sample pot one mil of the semen sample, 
place it into the uh, vial of reagent and then just apply that into your test cassette. In terms of how long they take, you're looking at 10 to 15 minutes for the two tests on the right and you should allow between half an hour and 45 minutes to complete a fertility score test. So there you have it, that's a comparison of the three commonly available male fertility tests. Each do exactly what they say on the packet with varying degrees of ease in terms of the test. And in terms of the specificity and accuracy, then if you're going really for a high quality result, then the fertility score wins out every time. I would say if you're just looking for a cheap quick test, then go for the all test or the one fold. So what we'll do in part two of this uh, video is just run you through each individual test and the procedure for completing that test result.